presents Gangbusters. Calling the police, calling the G-men, calling all Americans to war on the underworld. Gangbusters, with the cooperation of law enforcement officers of the United States, presents a picture of the endless war of the police on the underworld. Illustrating the clever operation of law enforcement officers in the work of protecting our citizens. The all-American crusade against crime. have the payroll money. According to you, gentlemen, the police have recovered it. Why don't you let me tell Hanson that I have the money in my wall safe? Because I don't want anyone to know that but us, not even the mayor. But your job. It's not as important as busting this gang. But you're off the force. I know. But there's nothing to prevent a private citizen from trying to run this gang down, is there? No. And there's nothing to keep the police from helping, if we feel like it. Of course. Hey, Bill. How'd this story get in the paper? Didn't we get the money from the pay car? Sure, it's in the chief's wall safe. Then what's the idea? Look, Tim, we know Professor Mortis has got a spy on us. Well, it looks like it. He always knows what we're going to do before we do it. We're going to use that money to catch the spy. I don't get it. We're going to tell everyone I've got it. But we're going to tell each and every one is hidden in a different place. Oh, I see. Then when the gang comes to get the doll, we know who tipped them off. That's it. Let's go. The money's in my apartment. I was going to use it to trap the gang. But mum's the word. Let them worry about it for a while. If you won't tell a soul, I got the money in my cellar. Now listen, keep it under your hat. But the money from the armored car has been located at... There's no answer, Mr. Gordon. And thank you. Yes, sir. The money has been located. We shall pick it up this evening. Carlo, the men just passed your place three times. Now they're unloading at your corner. My place? Yeah. I told Haskins the money was there. That makes him the gang spy. Hey, Chief, something's gone wrong. What do you mean, gone wrong? Well, Bill just had me on the phone and said he'd tell you to get that money out of your wall, Chief, and into the vault downstairs, quick. What money? Well, search me. He said you'd know. Why didn't he phone me? He said he was trying to, but your line was dead. He seemed awfully excited. Get that bag out of the closet. The chief wants you. Take that down and store it in the big safe. We'll take it, but not in the big safe. Keep your hands up. How did you get those uniforms? Ask the two cops when you get them out of the cleaning closet. where she's not expected and least wanted. What do you mean, not wanted? Well, what happened? What about Tim? 
I don't know. All I know is your stakeout, Mr. Fire. Oh, no, I didn't. At least we know who's carrying information to Mortis. Who? Prepare yourself for a shock, Vicky. Your little helpmate, Mr. Haskins. Haskins? <laughs> that bump on the head didn't do you any good. I hope you're right. But nevertheless, we'll get him in the chief's office tomorrow morning and find out for sure. But listen, Haskins, the money's gone. And it was you who called the phony policeman in from the hall. Well, you told me to. Don't forget, you told the chief I called you on the phone when I didn't. Boy, I thought it was you. It sounded like your voice. Honest. Let's be fair about this, Bill. That could happen. Well, how come the gang showed up at the place we told Haskins the money was cashed? Well, they showed up at your place, too. Yeah, that's right. Well, Haskins, I guess you're just a victim of circumstances. I'm glad of it. You mean all is forgiven? All is forgiven. Gee, thanks, pal. Well, I guess I better go get a short uh, coffee or something. I'll see you later. Well, is anybody convinced? Sorry, but I'm not. Me neither. His alibis are too pat. I hate to doubt a boy like Haskins, but I think I ought to put a tail on him. Well, since I'm not on the force anymore, it wouldn't cost anything to let me do it. Good. Then it wouldn't have to go on the record in case we're wrong. We'd agreed you were never to come here except when sent for. I had to. I'm in a jam. Look, I want to talk to you alone. Anything you have to say can be said in front of these men. Okay. We've got enough money stacked up so that we can split it, scatter, and live like kings. I believe so. But stacking up money is not my real purpose. I know all about that, but the cops are wise to me. They know that I've been tipping you off to their moves. And you're afraid. Well, why not? This guy Bannister's no dumbbell. And he's going to get us sooner or later, too, Doc. He might. But I intend to get him and the entire police department first. Hey, that's a big order, ain't it? My plans are all made. I warned them what to expect on my last broadcast. They ignored the warning, so they have no one to blame but themselves. These are detailed instructions for a man by the name of Soupy Collins. Do you know him? No. Soupy. Safecracker, huh? A real Peterman? The best on his line. Get this to him at once through our Mr. Crump. I don't like carrying dope like this. Suppose the cops find it on me. They won't understand. It reads harmless. But Collins will understand. Okay. But I think it'd be smarter to scram. Hey, what did you mean you ain't interested in dope? What other reasons is there for a mob, then? Revenge and power. Big call. Here you are, boy. Uh, 
Well, you better have the latest edition, Soupy. I don't know, Tim, but when a bomb expert like Sidney Collins buys an alarm clock, something's going to happen. And I'm going to camp right here until he makes his next move. Bring a squad car around to 4th and Oak and stand by so we can trade him when he comes out wherever he goes. Okay. Makes a tick. You tell him. I'll hook it up while you guys load the stuff. Soupy drove the truck into the yard behind the old warehouse. I've got to get in there and see what's going on. Let's go. No, you stand right down at the corner. If Soupy comes out again trailing. If I hear any trouble, I'll trail you. Right. Let's get going. I can hear that clock ticking from here. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. Open the gate for me. Hold it. What's 
in the truck? Dynamite. They're going to park it in the garage under headquarters and blow the place up. That'll kill everybody in the building. They catch it and dump it in the river. Yeah, if there's time. and dump this load. We better leave, buddy. We ain't got more than a couple of minutes. Keep driving. Let's get out of here. There ain't but a few seconds left. There's the bridge just ahead. Time. There better be. See Wanted at Headquarters, Chapter 11 of Gangbusters, at this theater next week.